Welcome and thank you for joining us for part one of this tutorial on how to apply for our scholarships, awards, and bursaries through our scholarship and award management system, or SAMS for short. We always like to start these sessions off in a good way by acknowledging that the University of Regina is situated on Treaty 4 lands with a presence in Treaty 6. These are the territories of the Cree, Soto, Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota, and the homeland of the Métis Michif Nation. Today, these lands continue to be the shared territory of many diverse peoples from near and far. My name is Kayla Schmaus, and I'm a student recruiter and enrollment counselor at the U of R. As a previous student myself, I understand that finding ways to fund your education can be an overwhelming process. That's why I'm here to help. The Student Award and Management System is a fantastic database of awards available to all U of R students. Through SAMS, students can search for awards that they think they will be eligible to receive and apply for them all with one application. It's like online shopping, but better than shopping for shoes because you're shopping for free money. You're going to look through the awards that interest you, read the requirements, and add the ones that you think you will qualify for to your shopping cart. You will then apply for all the awards in your shopping cart with one application. Before we go any further, I want to note that scholarship applications for SAMS open in mid-January for entrance students. SAMS applications are due on March 15th at 11.59 p.m. Saskatchewan time. This includes all required documents such as reference letters. To be eligible to apply for these awards, it is important that you have applied, been offered admission, and have accepted our offer of admission to the U of R. If you have yet to accept our offer of admission, you can do so by emailing enrollment.services at uregina.ca. All right, the first step in the application process is to make an account on our SAMS database. You can do this by visiting the link in the description box below. This is the login page for SAMS. You will need to register to create an account. One thing to note, it is very important to read all the instructions on the SAMS database. This will ensure that you are accurately and effectively able to complete all the requirements to qualify for scholarships, awards, and bursaries. First, you need to create a SAMS user ID. This should be something that you will easily remember and identify who you are. Please note that your user ID cannot contain spaces, periods, or underscores. It's also not case sensitive. Next, include your email address. Be sure that your email address is correct as we will be sending you a temporary password for your SAMS account to this email. Because you will be using this account for the entirety of your time at the U of R, we do recommend using a personal email account rather than your high school email. Then add your first name and last name. These must be the same as to what was listed on your application for admission to the U of R so that our system can recognize you. You must also include your date of birth. This is written using the day, month, year format. I often find it easiest to enter this by using the calendar icon. Finally, if you know your SASCED learner ID or your U of R student ID, include it in the spaces provided. If you don't know either, not to worry. These are not required, so you can leave them blank. Once you select register at the bottom of the page, it will take you back to the login portal. You will need to go to the email account that you included in the registration and retrieve your temporary password. Note, if you do not receive an email within 15 to 20 minutes, I would recommend it registering again using a different username. For the temporary password, it is usually a complicated combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, as well as being case sensitive. I would recommend copying and pasting that temporary password directly into the login portal. Once you log in using your user ID and temporary password, you will be taken to a screen that requests that you enter your temporary password and then create a new password unique to you. The new password must include an uppercase letter and number. Now that you've created an account, I would recommend writing down your login credentials somewhere secure. Often students begin an application leave the website to prepare their requirements, and then return later to input all of the information. So you will likely be logging in and out a few times. In the future, you will also use this same database each semester for all the award competitions for continuing students. So it's important that your login information is somewhere secure but accessible. 
If you do forget your login credentials, there's an option at the bottom of the login called Forgot Your Password, which will have steps to follow in order to be able to access your account. If you enter the wrong credentials too many times, your account will be locked. If this should happen, not to worry. You can contact Student Awards and Financial Aid at safa at uregina.ca. Thanks for joining me! Be sure to watch Part 2 Filtering for Awards to learn how to effectively use the database to select your scholarships and awards.